let's look at this question how many common roots do the polynomials x minus 3 x minus 4 x minus 6 x minus 7 minus 40 and x minus 1 x minus 3 x minus 4 x minus 6 plus 8 have okay so one way would be to equate both these expressions and then solve first you will get a by quadratic you will cancel out the x raised power 4 then you will get a cubic and then solve that Another way, I'm sure that will not be the ideal way to solve here because the term should be too large. If you can see the roots here, the roots that are given here, all have a middle point. So you have roots as 3, 4, 6 and 7. Middle point is 5. And you have 1, 3, 4 and 6. Middle point is 3.5. So what I can do is I can make pairs across this point. So if I make up a pair of x minus 4 into x minus 6 and x minus 3 into x minus 7, that should be useful, minus 40. Here I will get x square minus 10x plus 24 and here I will get x square minus 10x plus 21 minus 40. I can take x square minus 10x to be equal to a. So I get a plus 24 into a plus 21 minus 40. Let's open up the bracket. I will get a square plus 45a plus 24 into 21. 24 into 21 is 504. 504 minus 41. 464. Okay, uh, I think it would be easier. Let's see if I can break down 464 into two terms whose difference is 45. 464 is 232 into 2. Fine. 116 into 4. Fine. 58 into 8. Okay. 29. 16. Yes, 29 into 16 works. So I get a plus 29 or a plus 16 should be equal to this expression. So effectively, what we have got is see a was x square minus 10x minus plus 29 and x square minus 10x plus 16 so the roots of this expression are going to be something weird let's say minus b so 10 plus minus under root how much uh, 100 minus 4 into 29 4 into 29 is 116 so under root of minus 16 whole thing divided by 2 the two roots here the two roots here would be 8 and 2 so for the first expression the two roots identified as 8 and 2 8 and 2 and 10 plus minus under root minus 16 whole thing divided by 2 we would have to engage in the same processing for the second case as well and the middle point identified would be useful looks very very painful i don't know if there is a more efficient way of doing this let's see x minus 1 x minus 6 and x minus 3 x minus 4 plus 8 i open this up i get x square minus 7x plus 6 x square minus 7x plus 12 plus 8 so this time I'll take x square minus 7x equal to b. So I get b plus 6, b plus 12. So this will open up into b square plus 18b plus 80 is equal to 0. Now 80 has to be broken down into two numbers. Let me know this. So I get b plus 10 into b plus 8. Okay, if it is b plus 10 and b plus 8, I get x square minus
minus 7x plus 10 on one side and x square minus 7x plus 8 on the other okay here the two roots would be 5 and 2 clearly visible here the two roots would be 7 plus minus under root 49 minus 32 root 17 by 2 among the available roots of the first expression and the second expression the only common root that i can see is 2 therefore the answer to the question will be option b 1